Yo guys, what is up? This is Theo here coming to you live. Uh, it's about 9.30 right now at night. I'm going to show you how to uh, make API calls to the GitHub API. If you don't understand what API is, it's just a way to access another site or a company's data or resources that they have available that they're making public and transforming that data in response and using it for the purposes of your own web application. So today we're gonna to interact with the GitHub API. So let's just change this title that we have in JSPIN um, to interacting with GitHub API. So um, we got that going for us. Now we're gonna use Angular to use its HTTP service to interact with the API. So here you can see I'm bootstrapping the app with ng app and uh, after, because I already have imported Angular with the content delivery network, we're just going to bootstrap the app. In here, var app equals angular.module, the module method, and empty array of dependencies. And we're going to say app.controller, main controller. And this is going to take a function. And it's going to we're going to inject in it the HTTP service. All we're going to do right now is we're going to say var VM equals this view model. And then we're going to say VM dot user equals, or we'll just say VM dot data equals, actually, let's just do this. We'll do HTTP dot get, and we'll do API dot github dot com dot then a function which takes in a response. We're just going to log out the response that we get. Response. So let's look at our, let's look at this. JavaScript. Um, HTTP.get console.log the response. Um, let me think. HTTP.get. Come on, I can do it. Um, so let's just store, let me say, m dot data equals response console dot, ah, uh, that's frustrating, console dot log m dot data. Um, why is this not outputting anything? Oh, I think I know what. We haven't hooked it up to an ng controller. Equals main ctrl as vm. Now if we run this. This is not HTTP.get. Function HTTP main controller SVN. VN. It's just nothing right now. And equals data. VN dot main. Why is it not? Why are we not getting it? That's what I don't understand. Controller main controller equals this. Main controller as VN. Scripts, horse, script, script. Why is it not? <sighs> Let me just open on a new, new JS bin and uh, let's add an Angular. I don't know why that's not working. Let's bootstrap our app again. App, took up our body to the ng controller equals main CTRL as VM. Let's do Make sure it's working again. That name. Uh, let's get our script in here. Our app equals Angular dot module app. And now let's get our controller up and running. Main CTRL function for VM equals this. VM dot name equals this. Huh. 
Huh. That is really weird. What am I missing? I don't understand. Um, so ng app. Or app. Claims out module app. Dot controller. Main controller. Main controller. As VM. What the heck is going on? Man? Let me look in here see if there's anything. Dave is ready. What the hell is that? Um, hmm. It's really strange. Console. We're getting anything? VM dot name. thing I've ever seen. Um, Man, that's strange. All right, let's just do it in Sublime then, because this is bizarre why this isn't working. Let's open up Sublime and uh, just save, save as desktop, and we'll do index.html, html5, a boilerplate set up, please drop the app, app, and let's script source, var app equals angular dot module app, we'll do app dot controller, main ctrl, let's take a function, or VM equals this, and the name equals Theo, uh, body ng controller equals uh, name CTRL as VM, and we'll just do h1 VM dot name, and then if we go to open this in the browser, Theo, okay. I don't know what, what's wrong with JSBin, I'm sorry guys. Um, so yeah, we want to interact with this GitHub API. So we're going to do that. We're just going to inject in this HTTP service and we're going to do HTTP.get uh, API, api.github.com uh, dot then. It's going to take a function, a response. And we're going to log out this response that we're getting. Uh, so let's go back into here. Let's see if this actually made a network call. Cross origin request. Okay, that's true. Um, web server. We need a web server set up. So let me. Uh, this isn't in a server. Okay. Uh, CD desktop. Let me do a test. And then let me save this to a test. Desktop test. All right, so now it's in test. Let's go back to our web server down here. Choose folder, and we'll do. Um, let's go back to the desktop test. Um. All right, let's go here. Index. Let's run it. Just log. Four four not found. Why is it not doing that? I don't understand. API.github.com. Change it to that. Okay, let's go back. Now we got this running. Let's inspect in our console. Okay, we got back data, all this crap. Um so a user URL is one of the ways we can access what we want. So let's try this with, um, let's, let's make a button and say, or let's just make an input type of text and say, enter a username. I'm gonna use mine because it's the only one I really know. And 
we're just going to give this an ng model of uh, username, user not name, whatever. And this is going to be a button, go. And this is going to be ng click, um, fetch data. We're going to pass in the vm.fetch data. We're going to pass in this user object. And we're going to wrap this in a function. So we're going to say vm.fetch data equals a data equals a function. This is going to take in a user, and we're going to say um, this is going to run our HTTP request. I should I get a user? Get uh, and this is going to be plus user dot name. Then function response comes with a log response. Um, Enter a username, let me do label for enter outside name equals enter. Let's go back, Let's see what we have here. Let's refresh this. Enter a username, uh, Anderson TR15. And we inspect this, Let's see what we get. So we responded with api.github.com slash users. Oh, right, we need to preface it with users. Um, and then I think we should do, I think that will return what we want. All right, so then we can log this right here. We can do vm.data equals response and then if we log out h3 the end of data we can see what we're getting back and we can do h4 ng h4 ng if the end of loading equals true loading uh, end of loading equals true and then we can do vm.loading equals false. So now we can go back in here, enter a username, and there's some TR15 loading. There we go. You saw it shortly. A little bit loading. Okay, so we got all this data in this JSON object. Login Anderson TR15, all this crap we got. Method, get, transform response, status text, accept, JSON. Here's the URL that we put in, that's correct. So let's just grab out the, what do I want to grab? Um, I guess we can grab out the, the name. We'll just grab the name, the name and the location. Uh, so we'll do vn.name equals res.data.object.location or dot .name. And we will do vm.location equals res.data.location. So now we can do vm.name, vm.location. And now if we go back in here and we do, actually, let me hide this real quick. ng hide, um, dot data equals false. Data equals true and be hide the end of data is equal to false. So we'll just hide that while it loads and enter my username again. There we go. Theodore Rowan Anderson, Ontario, California. Uh, not sure. Another one, I guess we could do like Steve Jobs. I don't know if this even exists. Nothing. Um, Rick, Rick Bradley. Okay. James, James Darling, Luke. We're just entering any, no, it doesn't exist. Um, so we could show something maybe if it doesn't exist. So we could do, uh, it should be a get then, function response, uh, then function response, the end of or, not found, or not found. So we could go back in here and we could enter Luke not found, not found. Okay. Rick. Rick Bradley. Uh, Liam, maybe. 
Yeah, no, I found Okay. So, very simple, guys. I know APIs and programming are often seen as a, sort of a daunting challenge to interact with them, and there's a lot of talk about it, but really Angular with this nice HTTP wrapper, it makes it really accessible to uh, transform this data and work with it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it's a bit long. Uh, I don't know what was going on with JSBin, but uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.